So if this door opens, we are going to be in total chaos. Everything is going to be destroyed. The world is going to be ruined. This door cannot be opened. It's going to be ridiculously bad. But we can close the door pretty easily and knock out most of them and only have 7 out of 10,000 that was supposed to come. Fairy tale, the latest chapter. Um, like, there are some small good aspects to it, but in my opinion, it was a really big letdown in many aspects. And for starters, is the fact that this was built up that if this door opens, 10,000 are coming in. 10,000. And it ends up being 7. Coincidentally, you know, they locked it just in time before number 8, 9, 10, which, you know, 7 is a big number in Fairy Tale. I don't know what it specifically needs. Maybe it's part of the one magic. I don't know what the hell. But 7 out of 10,000. Not a couple hundred, not 30, not 50, not 90, not 2,000, not 5,000. 7. Mind you, they are powerful. I will give them that because everybody is like trying to hurt them and they ain't doing jack shit to them. Which probably means that the Dragon Slayers, if they were in full power, maybe they could have done something. But at the moment, pretty much everyone is helpless. But I, it's, it's disappointing because first of all, the door is locked. Can they even open it again? Does it have enough power? Did the, like, the power like slowly start draining because they were coming through the portal and it was already open? Can it be opened again? Because I thought we were going to get some sort of time travel. I thought we were going to have a massive just invasion of these dragons. But we got seven. Seven. I I'm disappointed, honestly. I'm, I'm really disappointed in this particular chapter. There was some good aspects, like I said. The dragons are strong. The seven that are there. But, I mean, if it was this easy, like, you know, let's just grab our, our, our keys. Which, by the way, there was a mess up in the key count. Because when Lucy threw hers up, there was like nine. And then uh, Yukino had two. So, learn to count. But, <laughs> seven. Damn. I mean, I don't want to be hung up too much on that, but it was a, a ridiculous thing that out of 10,000, we only get seven. And even if they are strong, what's the purpose of future rogue? Like they even said in the chapter, what could you possibly get out of summoning dragons? And future rogue was like, it would be a nightmare to get all 10,000. So seven is good enough to rule the world. I highly doubt that when you still got all these mages there, but the only thing I could think of, of what, what Future Rogue is doing at this point, because, okay, you rule the world with dragons, everyone's dead. Human, Because he said he wants everyone, humans, to be extinct. So what do you get out of that? The only thing I could think of is at this point, he's still faking to be a villain, and he brought all these dragons to force someone out of hiding. Maybe he wants Zerif to show up so he could kill Zerif finally. Maybe there's a purpose. He's trying to summon the Acnologia, and he's going to use all these dragons to attack the Acnologia uh, and get rid of him. These are the only things I could think of. Because otherwise, why the hell do you want to kill all humans and just be by yourself with a bunch of dragons? Does he have a dragon fetish? Maybe Future Rogue has a dragon fetish and he just wants to be with dragons all day rubbing up on the dragons. That's the only uh, conclusion because why else would you just want to kill humans? Like, is it because you let Frost die? Is that it? I mean, really, like, <laughs> honestly, this chapter just kind of, like, pissed me off a bit because why closing it so early so it was never really a big threat to begin with if you could close it that easily Lucy and Yukino and you know the the some of the saving graces uh the end with Natsu coming out he did look beast when he was standing holding that pole I ain't gonna lie like I said I'm a reviewer so I say the good the bad and and everything in between that looked badass you know Natsu's gonna go in but I don't want me either for Natsu to just show up and then you know we start slaying these dragons I don't want that either if Natsu's going to show up, maybe they can struggle and defeat one. And I don't know if there's still enough energy to open the door and jump in the, uh, in, back in time. Because that's what I want. It looks like it's been heading that way. The tablet with the scarf on it looks like maybe Natsu went back in time. Everything was leading up to going back in time. So if this door cannot be opened again, something is up. Something is up. Like I said, I, I, I'm still going to go with the fact that maybe it can be opened up again and everyone's going to jump back in the portal or a lot of people are going to jump back in the portal and Lucy's going to have to stay behind to close it once more. Maybe her and Yukino are going to stay behind and close the door and that's why they were crying and everything because they basically have to go back and, and try to change everything. Maybe there won't be enough to stop these seven along with Futuro because Futuro ain't no pushover either. He fucked up Natsu. So I'm going to go with that because otherwise I'm... I'm Feeling a little disgusted right now. So I'm going to go with that one. Let me know what you think, though. Are you disappointed like me? Because going through every, each and everything of it uh, is like, first of all, Future Rogue looks like he's motiveless. He just wants to, 
you know, be there with uh, dragons laying up on them or something. He has no, like, killing humans when you're a human yourself. Unless he's like a dragon. Maybe he was once a dragon turned human. Or he's trying to become a dragon. I don't know. Maybe he just wants to... I, I don't know. It's it's a dragon fetish. That's the only thing. So, again, what do you think? Disappointed or not? First of all, you're disappointed that the door was closed so easily. I mean, yeah, it, it took all the power of the celestial uh, mages that she summoned or whatever. But at the end of the day, or celestial uh, wizards or whatever. It took all the power of them. But nonetheless, it still was like... It closed so easily, and then we only left with seven. Seven! They're strong, but it's seven, not 10,000 that we've been leading up to and scared of. Seven! So, maybe we'll, we'll see how things lead up, because I still have faith on this one. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't, again, this is one review, one chapter, doesn't mean I hate fairy tale. No worries, yeah, that's just my review on this one, uh... Hopefully things turn around, because right now it's looking a little, ooh, I'm not liking it. Um, that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up. If you hope things turn around and maybe the door can be opened again because that's the only thing I can see uh, saving this. Because other than that, it's like, okay, we're going to have a little struggle to fight Seven. Not so there now, so they're going to probably end up taking him out. And then it's going to be over? I don't know. That's all I have for this one. I'm for Neville World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.